Hey, good morning. It's John. It's time for the 530 Drive. Coming to you live from my garage in Laguna Niguel, California, November 20th. This is episode number 56, I believe. Man, that's a lot of days in a row getting up before 5. So I'm pretty excited about this. Hey, yesterday I started off my uh, 7 Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Great book. I did Habits 1, 2, and 3, which were Be Proactive was number 1. Number 2 is Begin with the End in Mind. Number 3 was Time Management. Um, now the first three today are four, five, and six, obviously, and they are about relationships. Um, the first one is important on number four. He says to have a win-win mindset. So you have to have genuine feelings for a mutual beneficial result. So you really have to have empathy on this one. You have to think, okay, how can we make this so both people win and everybody's happy? And how does it work out best for all parties involved? So that's kind of the mindset you have. That's kind of hard for me to get involved in that with negotiation because I don't always look for the win-win. I always look for my client to win. So that's kind of a hard one for me doing the win-win. So I'm going to kind of skip over that one. Uh, five is uh, seek to understand, then to be understood. So again, this is a lot of empathy. So before you try to blurt out your point, and get, hey, good morning, Daryl Long. Before you try to blurt out your point and say how you feel and make yourself heard, listen first and listen with empathy and hear what they have to say. Once they're done speaking, and then you can give your point and talk to them. It, it also gives them a reciprocal kind of value where they think, oh, I can, now that now that he's listened to me, I can listen to him. Otherwise, it can turn into an argument or a shouting match. So here first, first seek to be understood, seek to understand, and then seek to be understood. Does that make sense? Um, there's three Greek words that are involved in that. Ethos, which means your credibility which that's, you know, I want to be credible, so I have to have a high ethos. Pathos is empathy. And the more empathy you give, the more trust they give to you. That's number two. Number three is logos. And that revolves around logic or reasoning. So instead of having a big emotional argument, be logical. Listen to their point and then give your point. So that was a big part of that. Steve Peterson, good morning, my friend. So number six is synergize. That's masterminding, getting in groups, teamwork, and just realizing that the whole effort is greater than the sum of its parts. And you don't want to surround yourself with all the people that have your same opinion. It's not going to grow that way. You want people that disagree with you, that have their own opinions, their own advice. Sit down, get all those opinions, and make an all-star group out of it. So I think masterminding is great. We use that for a lot of our marketing teams and sit down and, you know, some people don't agree with each other and it's awesome. So that's how we get the best all-star meeting of the minds, so to speak. The last one is sharpen the saw. That's... Um, I'll, I'll give you the whole parable. Basically, a guy's walking through the forest and gets hired to do this job. And he's got to saw down these trees. The guy says, great. He says, I'm the best sawer in the world. I'll show you how fast I am. First day, he knocks out 18 trees. Next day, 15 trees. Then he's down to 10 trees. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm working twice as hard, getting half the results. I don't know what to do. I'm just stuck. The guy says, well, why don't you go sharpen your saw and get more efficient chopping down the trees? And the guy's like, yeah. I don't have time to sharpen my saw. I've got too many trees to cut down. So think about that. Sharpen your saw. That means learn, train, make good choices. Use the miracle morning. Get up and do your affirmations and pray and, you know, start your day off right. Keep your mind and your body sharp. That's the most important thing to do out of all those, I think, is sharpening the saw. So that's been the seven habits of highly effective people by Stephen Covey. One of my favorite books for self-improvement. So that's it for today. Hey, it's going to be a great Thanksgiving, guys. Um, I'm going to do tomorrow and Thursday, I'm going to work on some gratitudes and things I'm thankful for and just kind of give a list and hopefully here's some things that you're thankful for as well. So this has been Miracle Morning on the 20th and you guys are awesome. Have an awesome day. It's going to be an awesome Thanksgiving and I love you very much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.